hello you are welcome how to find the value of x in this nice olympiad problem from here we have 36 raised to power x minus 9 raised to power x equals to 18 raised to power x here let's rewrite it and say this is 6 square then raised to power x because 6 square here is 6 then 6 which is also 36 then minus here we have 3 square then raised to power x we have 3 square as 3 times 3 and that's 9 equals to here let's write in thing as 6 times 3 then all raised to power x then in the next step we apply the law of indices here that is this power since they multiply we can interchange the power and this will be 6 raised to power x then square minus also here we have 3 raised to power x then square equals to this power of x here we multiply these two numbers so this gives us 6 raised to power x then 3 raised to power x then from here we let's represent 6 raised to power x with a letter and also 3 raised to power x with a letter so let m be equals to 6 raised to power x and let n be equals to 3 raised to power x and we can write this equation now in terms of m and n and this will be m square minus n square equals to m times n and from in the next step let's divide both sides by n square so we have divide this side by n square also divide this side by n square and we can separate this fraction and this will become m square over n square then minus n square over n square equals to here one n cancel n here then we are left with m over n and when we rewrite this from the law of indices we have same power then we can bring it out and say this is m over n to the power of 2 that's square then minus n square divided by n square that's 1 which is equal to m over n also we have m over n common here let's use a letter here let t be equal to m over n and this equation can be written again as t square minus 1 equals to t and let's take this t to this side to form an equation we have t square minus t then minus 1 equals to 0 now solving this quadratic equation from here we have t to be equals to minus 1 minus then minus 1 that's minus b b is minus 1 then plus or minus square root of b squared that's minus 1 square then minus 4 a that's 1 then c minus 1 then all over 2a 2 times 1 and here this will give us t to be equals to 1 that's minus times minus here is 1 then plus or minus square root of minus 1 square 1 then minus times minus plus 4 then over 2 so here we have t equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 and from here we have two possible value of t so we can say t equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we can say t equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and uh, we see from here that this year the value here is greater than 0 and the value here is less than 0 then let's check the value of t from here we represented t as m over n and we understand from here that we represented m as 6 raised to power x and n as 3 raised to power x and uh, when we write t here we can say this is t which is equal to 6 raised to power x over 3 raised to power x which we can equally write again from the law of indices as 6 over 3 or raised to power x 
and 6 over 3 that's 2 that's 2 raised to power x so from here we have t to be equal to 2 raised to power x which is greater than 0 then since here we have less than 0 it means t is greater than 0 and here less than 0 so there won't be a solution here then since t is greater than 0 then we equate t to be 1 plus root 5 over 2 so we can now say 2 raised to power x equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 then taking the log on both sides here we have log 2 raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 and from here applying the law of logarithm x come to the back here we have x log 2 then equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then from here divide both sides by log 2 then we divide this side as well by log 2 log 2 we cancel log 2 here and what we have left here is x which is equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 and here we can write it and this will be base 2 from the law of logarithm and therefore the value of x from here is x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 base 2 thank you for watching please share this video subscribe and turn on the notification bell see you next class and bye for now